What's up? So I'm just here to, uh, I got a little bit of time right now. I got like five minutes. I'm going to jump on. Not going to be on the live too long because I got things I got to, I got to get done. And I'm on a mission right now for probably the rest of the year. But I'll jump on and update y'all, maybe get y'all a few readings in. Um, but just stay tuned for what's coming. We got uh, the Fat Joe book is what I'm reading next. So good morning to everybody. We finished off uh, The Outsiders. I'm just jumping on to let you know. Um, the next book we're going to be reading is the Fat Joe book. Now, if you want to be a part of the book club, if you want to be a part of the reading, we've been through two books already. We went through Anne Frank together. And we went through the outsiders together already. So if you're somebody who's looking to just, you know, up up their reading in their life, if you struggle with reading or if you want to get into more of like a, a routine of reading, I can see this book club thing helping people with that because it's helping me. Um, it's helping me find a community right now just of people who support this drive of me reading. And they're like, I'm learning too. I'm going to jump on and learn as well. So if you're uh, interested in the book club, um, please, uh, my, my email is Oliver speaks one. You can check it on my link tree or on my page, but, um, uh, we're going to be reading this book next. Fat Joe's team, I guess, sent it to me. I don't know if it was him directly or what. I'm, I'm, I don't know. It came with, from him in a, in a, in a letter. And it was just basically thanking me for, you know, for reading and stuff. And, you know, the hope I appreciate the book. And I said, all right, I'm going to read it. So the book is called Fat Joe, the book of joe or jose i think that's jose right so i don't know how to read that well so i'm gonna read it's a memoir i really would like to read a memoir because i'm looking to write a memoir myself so i'm very you know excited to read this if you want to be a part of this um send me your email um i got anything in my mouth send me your email to oliver speaks i think i got some of them send me your email to oliver speaks and uh we can add you into the book club and you can read the books with me as well. So yeah, I'm going to be re not as much on live. Um, I was before, but I think we're on book. We finished off that, that segment. It was supposed to be four books in a month and I read five. Uh, the books I read were Anne Frank. Um, I read, uh, there was another kid's book, um, that I read and it was two kids books, but you know, a book is a book, like they said. So I read that and the, 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 the given tree, I read the witches, um as well i read the witches so that's five books already yeah so anne frank john uh the, the 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 outsiders the witches um 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 the 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 uh the the given tree and then one other kids book i read so that's five so we're off of that program kind of i, I kind of beat it i accomplished it so that's kind of cool um i don't know if i did an exact time but we got five books that were done so this is our new one we're going to get on. If anybody would like to join, please join along. Even if you don't want to buy the book or something, you just want to join the book club and just, I don't know, discuss things in the, in, the, in the book club. We discuss everything from what's in the book to our personal lives like and other people's lives. And it's I think it's helping people just see different perspectives. You know, let's face it. I'm an African-American man, 34 years old. I forgot how old I was. Grown, you know, grew up in Pennsylvania in the projects. How many of you can relate to that? I'm also out of that. So I can give a different view towards things that people want to see. Maybe for kids in your class, maybe for people you may date. You may be dating a guy like me and, you know, you're like, hey, I date a guy like you who grew up like that. You know, and, and you know, you may be, you may be living it. It's another thing as well. So um, it can help you just, I don't know, just if you're you're in a good space to just, you know, get, get acquainted with, you know, some space that you've never been acquainted with before. I've never done a book club. I've never done anything with a book, never done anything with learning. You know, if this was a basketball ordeal, I would be excited through the roof and I would see this being so amazing. But this to me is, 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 is new. You know, I never met up and did readings and things like that, but I did it twice so far, or well, twice with two books so far. And it has been one of the most amazing things I've done. Like the people just seem very nice and very comfortable with exploring new avenues and this book i think is going to take us down an avenue that probably the people i'm reading with probably never been down i think i've probably been down this avenue very 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 familiar with probably this avenue he's been down um his might even been worse than mine because he's older so he grew up in i think maybe 80s when i grew up 90s kind of when i was a little older 
and eighties were in the projects were probably worse than the nineties. So anytime back, the projects are worse. Today's projects are bad, but not like the eighties or something, you know, it was way worse. So, you know, at least the projects now probably have AC or heat. You don't think of like in the eighties, they probably didn't even have heat, probably didn't have a door or something, you know? So, you know, maybe not even running water. The projects now may have one in water. So like it changed, but you're still projects still living the same life. So yeah. Um, Go Babylon for this for days, but if you're just jumping on or getting off, we're going to be reading Fat Joe's book, The Book of Joe, or Jose, I, I keep saying Joe, um, and if you'd like to be a part of it, my email address is Oliver Speaks one my lady puts the email kind of list together, and so send out the, the day, the day is Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern time, so it's 2 p.m. Central time, I think, I'm getting these North Central things right, I don't, I didn't know them before, TikTok taught me, so, uh, yeah, um, that'll be every Sunday. We're going to be getting together and having discussions about this book. If you buy this book and you want to be a part of the book club, we're going to be reading three chapters. So we're on this book now, reading up to three chapters or more. And then we're going to discuss a little bit about it. It's a memoir, so it'll be really cool because I honestly think I'm going to be able to pull stories out of my brain that I haven't been able to think of for 34 years just because I probably hid them away from all the trauma that probably has happened through the years. But hearing this will probably open up those doors and maybe allow people to get a really cool experience of some stuff that I've been through and maybe hear some things you've been through. And, you know, hear Fat Joe, a.k.a. Jose, uh, read himself. And I'm sure this is Jose. I root up around Spanish people. And I think the Joe, I think this is, it's not Joe, it's not Josie, right? It's Jose. I'm pretty sure of that. So, yeah. See what anybody said. I read a couple of comments and then. We'll get to reading three chapters. If you get this book, if you want to send me your email and get on uh, the 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 uh, book club, it'd be great. It's a great opportunity for you to start doing something that you haven't done in your in your life in the past how many years, even if you're good or at it or not. I don't know the reading level of this book. I don't care. And I'm going to try to read it as best I can. I'm going to spend my whole day while some of these might take you five minutes. I might read this for 10 hours just to get three pages or three chapters or whatever. And that's fine because I, I, I got to do what I got to do and I'm going to make it to where I need to make it. So that should give you no excuse if you want to hook on to the book club and start reading. And I, I don't really see why people can't read things different than what they're used to. I'm not coming in with the strategy of like, I'm this guy who reads this. I'm like, no, I don't know nothing about this guy and I don't know nothing about this type of book. I don't even know what a memoir is, but I'm going to go in and read it and I'm going to learn some stuff. And I would like for you to come on and join me and learn as well. So uh, while things are small right now and things are really like, you know, happening in a real positive way, join on the book club. You know, send me your email. My name is uh, Oliver James, but my email is Oliver Speaks at um, Oliver Speaks one um, at Gmail dot com. It's on my link tree and you can get on to this book club. It's very exciting. And I'm trying to honestly, after doing them so much now, like in a way, I'm starting to get a feel of like, I understand it's, it's a book club of my, of my, you know, liking people that like to speak about things that they're going through, building themselves up and challenging themselves to read, to literally get up and go, Hey, Oliver, you're not the best reader, but you're actually doing it. And then they're over here. Like this dude can do it. And I'm not even doing it. Like I got this opportunity to get up every day and read a book a week. And I'm like, I haven't read a book since high school. And I'm like, well, I'm, congratulations, you're really good at reading. But I don't know if you know it, but that, that, that doesn't mean you're the best. That doesn't mean you're in the best position. It might be the reason why you're in the position you're in now many times. Like my job, my, my, my life, my, 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 my work, my finances. So it's probably because you stopped reading that in high school or maybe just don't read as much. So I'm saying it like, hey, I don't know if that's the answer. I just know I need to learn how to read better. So I'm coming on and let y'all know, hey, Pick up the Fat Joe book. I'm not advertising Fat Joe. I know nothing about it. And I'm going to tell y'all straight to your face. I'm not advertising it. If anything, I hope he does find out that I'm trying to read his book and makes me get on a stage and do motivational speaking like I would love to do. So please let him find out. I don't know him and I don't not advertising his book at all. But if he likes it in the good graces of his heart to call me and say, Oliver, listen, you got something going. We're going to make something happen. He's in a great position to maybe make me help a writer memoir. So Fat Joe, don't know you. Thank you for your team sending me the book. I'm not advertising, but I love to advertise it because I listen to your music and I thought you were pretty cool when I was growing up. I know nothing about you. We're going to find out about you. We're going to read about you and we're going to find out how good or bad you are. Don't know, but I love your music, buddy. Thanks for that. Uh, 
So yeah, there's an honest, you know, feedback to you. I don't know how much this book costs. So if you don't want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money, please don't. Maybe you could just come on the book club and just talk. I'm just telling you, I don't know how much it costs. I don't know nothing about it. They sent it to me. I didn't even look it up. I know nothing about books. I'm learning as I go. And that's how I probably pretty much want to bring it to y'all is that you're you're coming to a person who's literally brand new into this. I'm like, if in the fitness, I'm a person who's never exercised, who's walking into a gym to see all these fit people and say, I want to come into y'all world and I want to be fit. And I'm out of shape. And many people can relate to that. Just walk into a fit world and be like, I want to be as fit as some of the fittest people in the world. And you'll be like, you can do it. Just go to a certain, certain gym, get a certain trainer and let them train you for like five years and you'll get it. But to a person who's never done that, it's like, wow. Well, that's what it feels like to me going into the reading world. I'm just jumping in saying, hey, man, like, you know, I'm out of shape. Can somebody get me in shape in here? And they're like, hey, listen, you can get a million trainers. But if you know the philosophy of getting in shape is you just got to get up and do it. Get up and walk. Get up and eat better. Get up and go to the gym and just do what you can. One day you're going to be one of the fit people in the gym. So I'm looking at it like, hey, while I'm starting up my fitness reading journey, if anybody wants to jump on, even if I was a fit guy, I would get on with somebody who was just starting their workout journey if they had that drive. If they was like, yo, would you like to get up at six in the morning every single day and start working out and we get on a workout plan and we stay dedicated, we start eating good and we start, you'd be like, but you're a new workout person. I already do that. They'd be like, yeah, but would you like to do more of it? Would you like to do two more workouts or maybe two workouts a day? You'd be like, well, are you going to do that? Like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, well, if you did two and I'm only doing one, that means you're going to get two more than I get and I'm already ahead of you. I might as well do two, even though I'm ahead. You'd be like, yeah, it's not going to hurt for us to both do two, even though you're ahead. So I look at that in that way. Like, I ain't ahead in this, but you might be ahead in reading. Why don't you get more ahead? Get further ahead. So join on, read with me. Push me to even read even harder so I can catch up to y'all. I want to be like the kid, right, who's playing with the with the bigger kids on the basketball court, you know? I want to suck with you. Like, I want to be bad at it. I want to be getting bumped up and beat down a little bit. So that eventually, when it's time for me to step up to the plate, you see what I'm saying? They're going to be like, hey, Oliver, how'd you get so good at reading so fast? I'm like, well, I got with some of the best readers in the world and hung up, hung around them. Got in a book club with them, you know, just read around them. They were good at it already. I just hung around them and just did what they did. That's what I want to do. I want to get close to y'all great readers, give y'all my perspective, and then we just build together. I I, I need y'all to build. I, I don't know smart, smart people. You know? You get well, I'm being honest with y'all. I don't know very smart, intelligent, successful people. I don't know y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm out here looking for them while I try to get personal clients and I have like one or two or three, but I need more. I need all my people I surround myself around to be intelligent, very smart, very knowing on books and very understanding on different perspectives. I need all that. I need very smart, intelligent people around me. So there's no better way than me to start a book club, be among smart people. I'm pretty smart, I think myself, but I need their smarts. I need y'all smartness. I need it to go further. So I'm like, hey, start a book club and read books that I just pick up. Just who cares? Like, I'm new to this. Y'all already got this thing. It ain't going to hurt y'all to get a couple reps. It ain't going to hurt y'all to run a couple more miles and get your heart better. It ain't going to hurt. It ain't going to hurt to get your, you know, your brain waves. Get, just get them, get them worked up. Just touch them up a little bit. It ain't going to hurt, is it? I'm saying here, say, hey, yeah, you got to go to work. Yeah, you got to do with your kids. But I'm saying, when you done with all that, yeah, football's on Sunday. I'm saying, hey, man, you know, they already in the league. Football players are already in the league. They're already rich and successful playing. You watching somebody do something successful and great. Why don't we do something successful and great together? Get on a book club. We can read about football. I mean, I don't know. Fat Joe's rapping, but I know there's some football book books we can read. Like, hey, let's read. Let's learn about some stuff. That's how I'm looking at it in my head. So, hey, if you want to be a part of this energy and this type of thing, I'm trying to bring this to a book club. We got a couple people in there now, but the more people we bring, the more energy we, 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 we speak about honesty, like a lot of honesty. I'm about that. We speak about positivity. You know, it's about things that, you know, if you know knowledge and things you got inside, we let them out and we, uh, we express them in a, in a, in a, in a honest way. Like we talk about color in the book club. Like I'm, I'm a colored person, you know what I mean? But I want people to see my real color. I'm brown, not black. So we talk about that. We talk about things like, you know, what can we do for kids? Some of the teachers and they're like, what can we do for kids that don't, don't get it and don't i'm like because they they don't get you because you don't get them that's all it is like you don't i get them 
I could sit next to them and just be just hearing them and just be like, I know what word they're in. I could be with them like, y'all, I'm going to feel y'all pain too because I know I'm in it too with y'all. I get it. But I also know the other side. I know the side of choice. I know the side of decisions. Like after I'm done hanging around this energy, I'm like, hey, I've learned to now pull yourself out of that. Like why? Because I'm born in a negative world. I understand that I, I ain't got to be in a negative world. I'm born in it. I ain't got to be in it. I'm going to pull myself up out of that thing. What you, how you going to do that? By reading, man. Like negative things will be doing what other people do that got negative results. I ain't ever seen nobody read and get negative results from that. Just keep it at a whole hundred. Ain't never seen nobody read books and got negative results. Just saying. And it's hard. You want to think about it, young young men, young young men and young women. If you got a lot of energy, especially young men, if you're real strong, picking up a thousand pounds is strong. Yeah, congratulations. You just did what everybody can do. Nah, nah, nah. Why don't you separate yourself and learn? how to pick up a thousand pounds a thousand times instead of just trying to pick up a thousand pounds. Yeah. See, that's a, that's a whole nother ball game. We're going to learn. We're going to read a thousand times to learn how to pick up a thousand times before we even pick up a thousand times, a thousand pounds. It's like, what? Like, I know the, the, I know the ins and outs before that thing even come off the ground. I know the, I know the ratio. I know that, I know the, I know that I know that I know the alignment. I know the structure of the bar sequence. <laughs> you be like, how do you? You don't get what I'm saying to you, man. I thought lifting a thousand pounds was strong. You be like, no. Learning how to lift a thousand pounds a thousand times is strong. That's when you be like, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of. I'm like, yeah. Now we see how strong you are. So that's why I'm trying to bring this type of energy to y'all and just let y'all know. You know, I can keep going for days and just motivate y'all and just put y'all on a level of where I believe that we should all be. And I, I honestly want to come to y'all and tell y'all it's not easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. I know Sunday's going to come and people are going to, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest now. I got to come and be honest. I'm pushing myself and I'm learning. I'm like, hold on. Now that I didn't start a book club, I, 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 I'm seeing people's I'm stamina. Now I did that workout thing and I was like, you know what? I'll give people the credit. Y'all don't want to work out. But now I'm, I'm starting to realize what my purpose is. And I'm realizing, I'm like, your purpose is to call people's bluff in areas that they not even, where they bluffing. How many of y'all actually reading? You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm starting to come in. I'm realizing, hey, if you want to be a part of a positive community and you want to I understand people got a lot of things going on. But I'm telling you, I'm like, I got a lot of things going on too. And it's not about the book club. I'm like, if you really serious about change, and you're really serious about trying to grow a little bit. You really serious, especially if you're like my age or if you're younger or older and you're just like successful already. And you're like, I just want to be amongst that energy again, just so I can feel alive. Because this is energy. It's young energy. I ain't that young, but this is young energy coming in with that bite. Like, ah, what we at now? Like, I'm in here. I'm What we doing? I'm like, all right, just the book community. I'm like, all right, well, book community. I'm coming with energy. I'm reading a book, a book, a book, a book, a book. I need a thousand books by the thousand days. You're like, why? I'm like, because why not? It's young energy. I'm young. Let's go. And if you ain't young and your heart's beating and you feel like you can feel young, let's get on this energy. Come on now. Let's read some books. Let's learn some stuff. Get this energy. Get this. So Sunday coming, people got excuses. I'm like, I thought this was only in the fitness world. Man, I done left the bro world. I done left the all the, ah, the clang, clang, lifting all the dumbbells and bang, bangs and all that. Talking about, come on, let's get in the gym, everybody. Let's get it. And no, everybody like, oh, I feel people like, you know what? Maybe it's a little bit, maybe a little extra, maybe a little bit too, everybody. All right, I get that. I won't get that too much. But I done ran up in the book community, kicked the door in with the same energy in the gym, talking about who want to read. Let's go. And everybody just Sunday come two people about that, about that energy. So I'm like, hold on. People just giving up everywhere in their life. I done got sent. 30 requests to come on the, or 40 or something requests to come on the book club already. Three show up. I'm like, I'm like hold up, man. Let me, I'm thinking about that. And I'm like, let me speak about this. I done came up in y'all world. Y'all done invited me into y'all world. Y'all, in y'all space. I was a broster. You know what I'm saying? I was in there, ah, give me the weight. You know what I'm saying? When I was young. 
but you know, I'm not that young, but still, man, I done came in here. How do you, how people like us, how you gonna get these dudes who you don't like, especially women, I'm talking to y'all, straight up. Y'all men are on there watching football on Sunday. Get them off the football, get them on the book club so they can start learning some stuff and then you can start seeing like, I got a partner. I'm like, get them off them same repetitive damn things. Get them on this book club. Get on here with them and read together. Get their insecurities out. Let's go. Get some, get some emotion out your man. You know what I'm saying? So we can be like, hey, what are we doing here? I'm like, we're doing different things. We're going to start reading together. We're going to start learning. We're going to start being more of a couple. We can read about some of our problems and how we can be better for our children and read about other people's situations so we can better our situations. And I'm sitting here like, hey, man, I'm really like realizing. I'm like, hold on. I need to speak about this. I'm up in the book club going hammy. I'm up in the book world going ham. Getting up in the morning, reading, embarrassing myself, crying on times. Because this is hard doing things that are hard. And I'm like, hold on. Ain't nobody doing it either. Hold on now. I may rage and rave when I was in the workout world and I got that. I was like, you know what? Don't be so aggressive. People like me, so aggressive, Oliver, with this, man. People you got to give people opportunity to grow and learn. I'm like, that is true. So I went and I said, I'm going to go in their world. I'm going to go in their world because I ain't never decided to because, you know what, if I'm going to be somebody to point a finger and say, hey, man, stop eating that, stop doing that. I'm going to be a person to say, well, how about you go read? How about you get smarter? You think you're you you think you, you think you're so smart. Why don't you actually try it, Oliver, like I'm doing? Because I'm smart just because I don't work out. I'm smart. And I looked at that and in my mind, I said, you know what? You done right. Who am I to say anything to anybody and, and anybody if I ain't doing at least part of what they do? So I did part of what y'all do. I started to step out here and do things that I decided that 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 that, that y'all do that I don't do. Read, get smart, educate. I I don't ran from it my whole life. Kids who grew up with me, you was in my class, you was there, you knew about it. And it don't matter what I was going through. It don't matter the abuse I've been through. It don't matter what who, what teacher beat me when I was a child. It don't matter the things I was doing. It don't matter the anxiety I get from going to educate myself. That is an excuse. Because you look at people who ain't in shape and, and do certain things. You tell me, why don't they take care of themselves? Why don't they just, you know, do right for themselves so they can live longer? They'd be like, it ain't that easy. They might have been hurt when they were young. They might have been through things. I'm like, I get it now. Because I can't read because of what I've been through. And I'm like, you know what? Well, I'm going to put my dang foot down. And you know what? I'm going to get out there and I'm going to start reading then. I can't, I can't be no hypocrite. I got to do what they do. So then I can understand how they feel. I put myself in y'all world and I'm out here going hammy in the middle of the night crying. I'm, I'm stressed out. You know, I'm getting arguments with family members, losing friends, all types of stuff is happening. I'm telling y'all that's that's a real thing. But as I'm here, I'm sitting here saying, OK, well, at least I'm here. And, I, you know, the, the book, you know, people who read and stuff like that, they're going to be with it. And I turn up and I get the I get the book club going and, you know, we get rocking and rolling and we start to see them. Like we got one time to live and we're going to start doing better. So we. You know, I'm not going to encourage y'all to do something on one place that y'all not comfortable. I'm going to come into a place that I know y'all comfortable. Y'all like to read. I'm going to come to y'all. I'm going to say, hey, I'm gonna know what? We're going to read then. We're going to discuss positive things and we're going to read. And we're gonna, I'm going to come into y'all world. And I'm going to learn y'all world a little bit before I start to tell y'all to get into fitness and start eating good and start. No, no, I'm going to come to y'all. And I'll be darned at how many people, two, two, three people show up out of 80,000 followers that done joined up and thousands of people that done said, I'll be part of the book club. I buy the books. I'll come on and have some reading. I'm like, man, you start to see how many people really, I done got 80,000 followers just so I can come to another side of the world to try to change people's perspective on growth. And I'm like, people really don't want it. They really don't want it. But I do. I see it now. I done came to y'all world and I'm like, hey, now that I'm here, I ain't, I'm going to treat it like I treat it, treat it the, the workout world. It's time to put every foot on that ground and move forward. And I don't care what I'm going through. Break up, make up, crying, jail, whatever it is, we will be reading through every situation, growth, and we will not stop. So if you want to be a part of this growth, you want to be a part of this type of gr growing, this type of energy we're getting into, send your, 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 your direct message to my email. And this type of energy, I'm pushing with real, real matter. This is really, this is a growth mindset. Every week, I'm going to be coming with something different. And I can see, I'm really putting this on y'all. I'm really calling y'all bluff now. And I'm really telling y'all, I'm, I'm disappointed right now. And a lot of people who, you know, who ain't really showing up for themselves. Stop it. It is enough is enough. I came into y'all world and I'm seeing a lot of you know how to read perfectly fine. And it's time for you to read every day. 
Every day you need to be touching up on your reading, educating yourself on your children, on your relationships with yourself, on what's going on in the world, all types of stuff. You need to do that because that is your right and that is your that's your personal responsibility to keep evolving and keep growing. Stop doing this. I came into y'all world and I'm still seeing you do this to yourself. Stop this. Send that email in, get on board, and let's go. We're reading books. I don't care what it's about. I do not care if Sunday shows up and you're tired. I don't care if football's on. They already got jobs. They already are doing their, their, their lively. They are living in, in heaven because they're in NFL. You stop watching them and you get on this book club and you get into that heaven space. You start building yourself up to those NFL football players mentality because they live in heaven. They're up there already. It don't matter how long they are. They're they living it. They're in their peak. They worked for it. Now, you get off of there and you get on this book club now. 5 p.m. for Eastern time or Central time, 2 p.m. And we are on there. It's a free book club. It's this type of energy. We're reading this book because Fat Joe's team sent it to me. I'm not advertising it. I know nothing about this dude and I don't really care. I'm about to learn about him. I love this music and I'm happy he sent me the book. And I hope he sees I'm reading the book so he can get me further in life too. Thank you. I hope somebody sends this to him. So let's get this book if you can. If you you can't get the book, don't worry about it. You still don't give up on yourself. You read a book and come on book club. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you cannot pay for this book, you you read a darn stop sign or or a, a walking sign or you read a darn, you walk in the nearest McDonald's and get a kid's menu. Read that. Meet me on book club. You hear what I'm saying to you? I don't care what you read. You show up on book club and you learn something if you don't know something. If you know something, come teach us something on book club. Send me your email saying I'm going to be a part of the book club. It's on Sunday at 5 p.m. And this is what we're going to be doing, this type of energy. We're keeping a consistency of growth. We're not giving up. I want to see people from the next year still on book club. You know how many books we can read if you just get on board with this? I bought five books and I just got on this 38 days ago or 39 days ago or something. I'm like, what is going on? And some people haven't read a page probably. No, enough is enough. I may not be able to do the, the workout world with this type of energy because I gave two craps about the workout world. I'm good at that. This is hard. And if I'm going to be going through this hard by myself and, and people see it's hard and you, y'all better stop it now. Stop it. It's time. Let's go. I'm not playing with y'all. I feel like I feel like I gotta come in and be like, let's go. Oh, send that email. Get on his book club Sundays. We'll just discuss some stuff. We read three page uh, chapters of this book or more, and on Sunday, meet me. Okay. I might read a couple of these comments. I know there's a couple of them. I don't know if they're good or not. Can we read some books by black authors? Yes, we will read black authors, white authors, country authors, green authors, authors, um, space authors, all of authors. We we'll read anything. We ain't discriminating towards nothing unless it's negative and it's going to bring people down. With nothing to bring people down. It got to be about bringing people up in some way or people learning a lesson or something, overcoming something or something. I ain't reading nothing about trying to hurt nobody. We're not doing nothing to bring nobody down. We're not trying to create no, 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 no type of organization that's trying to tear the world, uh, uh, other people down. This is about anybody who's brown, color, brown, dog, green, tree, uh, uh, air, whatever you are. You want to just come on and discuss something. They're like, well, yeah, here you go. Discuss. We cool. Like, as long as you ain't got no discrimination towards anybody. Yeah, we cool. We're just talking about some stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's have some good, good conversation. That's the conversation. No boundaries. No. You know, we talk about things that are real, but we're also going to understand that there's, there's, a, there's a respect level. You know, so you talk about things that are real, but there's a respect level. And if you, if you, even if you do disrespect, you know, we're not going to disrespect you. We're going to try to teach you like how to not disrespect. And if you can't get it, we'll have, you'll have to exit the premises. That's all. We ain't going to hurt you. We're just going to talk about, hey, that's not the way you do things. That's why you're here to teach you. Come on now. Let's teach you the right way. You'll be like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, well, that's why you're here. We can't. If you, if you never find out, you, you, you know, you got to put yourself in an uncomfortable space so you can find out. You'll never find out. So. That's where we at with it. I'm about to hop up out of here. Send him an email. Thank you for anybody who's helping out, sending off uh, messages and, and on my behalf. I don't read that well. So obviously a lot of this stuff's going to be hard to read all of it. And I'm not even going to try to do it at this moment because it, it will, you know, it'll just leave me in a bunch of scattered places. But I'll read a few of these messages and see if I can respond to some of these. The black author one, I respond. So yes, we will. 
not like I used to so much power and being able to read. Yes. So people get it. I want to join. Please join. Yep. So yeah, you know how to get there. Please join. This is an open invitation for a new space in life for people to be like, if you are not in a good space in life, you might find this as something to make you hold on to just grow, break up, make up. You know, if you're not feeling good, you don't feel like a good person in life or you just feel like an amazing person and want to join in and bring more energy. That's the type of energy I'm trying to tell you. It can give you a space to just say, hey, what's going on here? I'm like, you know what? Real stuff. People really just, you know, real people. I can't read that well and I need to learn how to read. So if you know how to read, come on in and teach me some things. And maybe I can teach you some things about me and what I got going on. That type of energy where people, you know, people can really become something and to grow through something and be like, hey, there was just a time in 2022. It was around winter time where I was in a real dark space. You know, I didn't have no family. I didn't have Christmas. I didn't have no one. And I had a book club, dude. I had a real, dude, this almost wants me to make me tear up because I've been in these positions. So I want to tell you, like, this might be a position that you're in. Might broke up with somebody. Might be going through something. Might not have family members. Whatever it is, I don't know. That's not my problem. That's not no one's problem. What the thing is we're trying to do for your problem is give you a space where you don't have to feel alone. Where you're like, I got a place where I can just read some things and connect with some cool people and just go about my day. And when I get off of it, I'm not going to just crack a couple giggles. Like, I really just met some people. Like, I really just met some people. Like, I really just met some friends or something. Like, yes, just met some friends. Good for you. Like, this is what we're trying to do. And anybody who understands this type of energy understands that this is not easy to come across. So if you're about this and you want to start reading something and just come on a Sunday and just talk it up and have a couple conversations and take it further. The longer we're on it, the more we build it, the more comfortable we come. And anybody knows when you build up a, a good friendship or a good, just a healthy type of, it can, it, you could be in dark places and jump on there and be like, wow, like, thank you. When I was going through that during Christmas time, it's summertime. I didn't have no one. And you were there. That was Oliver and your book club was there. Thank you for just having just a, a space of good place. And I'm like, thank you for being a part of it because you're a contribute is why it happened. Your hard contribute, your hard effort of saying I did something for myself. So next year I can be in a better position. I can be better. And I'm like, I joined to be better. I don't know how, but I can see by next year, if I did these things he's talking about, there's a possibility I can change. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. Thank you for anybody who caught the message and was really on. I got to get to work. I got a client right next door. So got to get on there. Got two minutes to get there. Uh, read about one or two more. Hey, honey, I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. You're inspiring. And so are all of you. And anybody who takes the initiative to do something for themselves right now, this is an opportunity to join something. And like I said, get it while it's hot now. It's free. And we're just kind of just going on book club, just reading this book. And like I said, if no people just knew to jump in, I'm going to hop off in a second here. If you do not have this book and you cannot afford this book, I do not care if you walk into the nearest restaurant and grab their menu and you read their menu and show up with that knowledge on Sunday. You're welcome. So come in. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you don't have to be able to get this book or afford it to join on Sundays. Just send me your email. We'll add you to the, the message. I'll send the, the message out. And then, you know, you can join at 5 o'clock. It'll be a free Zoom. So I'll see you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining on. And I hope to see people on Sunday. Uh, I'll probably drop in for a little bit more later on this week to let people know again, you know, reminded them of the book club. So see you later. Send your emails. Let's go.